to Holistic Healing by TMF. Today I want to do a video for you all about the heart chakra. So welcome back to Holistic Healing by TMF. This is part of the chakra series. So if you are new to this series, this is all, all about how to heal your chakras. Now I did do a brief video all about how to heal the different different chakras but these brief videos they were not very long so or very informative either so I have decided that it would be a good idea to do them more formal and we are now into the fifth part of this series so welcome back if you are new here then you may want to actually revisit the previous weeks so it's likely that you're probably going to want to do the previous weeks first of all however with that being said let's go straight into this video so the heart chakra is associated with the colour green so the heart chakra is is usually associated with the darker shades of green however you can also associate it with the lighter shades of green as well now the organs that the heart chakra is related to are, are the thymus gland, but the thymus gland is actually the higher heart chakra, so that is part of the heart chakra, but the higher heart chakra is related more to, it's linked more with the colour turquoise, more cyan green, more kind of like this shade. So yes. Now, it's also actually associated with your lungs, of course, your lungs and all of that area, your rib cage and your heart as well. So those are the organs that your heart is actually associated with and you will also find that your nails and your hands, these are also part of your heart chakra. So, yeah. Now, it's also connected with your arms, with your, with your rib cage. I think I mentioned that earlier and with your pectoral muscles, so yes. Anyway, with that being said, let's go now into what the heart chakra is associated with. So the heart chakra is associated with nurturing yourself, so being able to nurture yourself and others. Your heart chakra is associated with your ability to share, so your ability to give more of yourself out to other people and to receive back and to also just to give freely. Your heart chakra is related to your ability to, to grieve and to care for other people. Also, it's related to your ability to to care for other. I think I just said that to your ability to love other people. Sorry. So of course, your heart chakra is is linked to loving other people freely. It is linked to just being open, being abundant, and and giving yourself, giving your time, giving your energy to other people. And it is associated with just, just giving yourself freely again. So making sure that you are, are looking after yourself first and foremost. But yes, I can see that your heart chakra is just really associated with 
making sure that you can share and give and receive equally. So there are certain imbalances. I'm just looking at my notes over here. So there are certain imbalances that block the heart chakra. Now these are loneliness, social anxiety, self-criticism. Being judgmental is also a block to your heart chakra because the more you judge other people, the more you actually are judging yourself. So the more you criticise yourself as well, the more you're going to be blocking off your heart chakra, the more you're going to be causing yourself to have have imbalances and the more you're going to be causing yourself to feel like you are out of touch with your own heart chakra this will stop you from being able to share with other people this will stop you from being able to give to other people freely and you will find that you have an inability to let go so when you have blockages within your heart chakra you find that you may actually hoard things because you have an inability to let go of the past and you may find that you are reflecting upon the past and criticizing yourself again so that is something that is important for us as a collective to make sure that we are doing to help to heal our heart chakra is making sure that we are actually actually trusting ourselves as well as not criticizing ourselves it can be difficult to work out well what does it mean when you say how do you trust yourself or how do you not criticize yourself but when you listen to your heart when you go with things that actually make you happy when you when you listen to the sound of of your own inner calling you will find that you are vibrating higher and therefore able to remove blockages within your heart chakra and this will help you to actually free yourself this will help you to pull down the walls within your heart chakra this will help you to ascend and this will help you to start to this will help you to start to be able to expand your heart chakra. This will help you to love more people freely. This will help you to love yourself more freely as well. So yes, you will find that if you are having an inability to let go, then you will also have a difficulty in giving and receiving because you are trapped in the past and you're not really focusing on the current moment and when you stay stuck in the past you will find that you are kind of you're causing yourself troubles because you're you're stopping yourself from being able to reach your future when you when you stay stuck in the past, when you focus on all of the things that went wrong, you stop yourself from being able to actually create a new future for yourself because eventually one day there will be an opportunity for you to create something new for yourself. Every day we get an opportunity to recreate something for ourselves and when we listen to our higher selves, when we start to go towards our our own destiny when we start to open up our heart chakras we find that actually everything that we have been looking for has always been inside anyway and and that way we start to be able to meditate we start to be able to call our, our attention back we start to be able to find the middle way because sometimes we may feel like we are wanting to be a little bit greedy or we may find that we are wanting to neglect ourselves now as human beings we all get times like this within our lives but it is really important for us to make sure that we are actually looking after ourselves when we look after ourselves we start to get to the point where we are then able to move forwards in a in a free and calm more balanced way this helps to 
open our hearts so that we can receive more abundance but it's not just all about receiving abundance it's about making meaningful changes in the world around you because we want to we want to change and make a difference to the world around us because there is a lot of pain in the world and we don't want to contribute to this we want to we want to make people's lives better we want to wherever possible now this doesn't mean pushing people into changing their lives of course not but it means inspiring other people with acts of kindness with acts of love with acts of inspiration this means that by looking after yourself by looking after your own body and by looking after your your family and your friends you will find that you're inspiring other people by dropping your ego by getting out of your pride you will find that you are able to connect with your friends and family start to ground yourself you realize that not everything is so serious not everything is always such a, a difficulty and you don't have to worry about things you start to realize that it's okay to to open your heart chakra to to people that you wouldn't have usually expected to open your heart chakra to because sometimes we feel like if we love other people freely, other people will think that we are not, we are not actually positive uh, or that we are, are not respectable people or that we are open in all of our chakras but just because you love other people that does not mean that you have imbalances within all of your chakras. And just because you love other people, that doesn't mean that you have an imbalance within your heart chakra, but you also have to make sure that you are putting healthy boundaries within place. So although when you open your heart chakra, you do start to open up all of the, the, the pathways within your heart chakra, you also do start to find that you are able to really... understand and clearly clearly see how to how to help other people even in times of darkness but also how to defend yourself throughout times of darkness so that you can set healthy boundaries so for example if someone was to was to ask you to do something that you felt uncomfortable with you would be able to set the healthy boundaries and and be able to walk away with your head held high knowing that you not what you weren't in your pride but that you were doing what was best for yourself and for the the world around you so yes that's how you ultimately cleanse and heal your heart chakra now there are other imbalances that are are related to your blockages within your heart chakra now these are suspicion and fear so if you are overly suspicious of other people then you will find that you are actually blocking your heart because no one no one has negative intentions towards you unless you well, I mean, people may have negative intentions towards you, but unless you give your power away to them, unless you give them the power to have negative intentions towards you, then they won't have negative intentions towards you. Because if you are just ignoring those who have negative intentions towards you, soon they will either change their negative intentions or their own toxicity will, will backfire upon them. So, yes, it's really important to make sure that you are just... Just allowing yourself to be free of suspicion and fear of 
people who you don't have to be fearful of. Now, especially when this comes to friendships and romantic partnerships. So, if you are fearful of your partner that you are in a relationship with, you will find that this leads to toxic relationships and this also will lead to, towards you having poor circulation and lung problems. So when you have poor circulation, you will find that you are, are unable to properly, properly breathe or, or also regulate your own heart and this, this will cause certain, certain problems within your own lungs and your own heart chakra. So it is important for you to make sure that you are just really, really allowing yourself to open up your heart chakra, even in times of, of fear. And one of the ways that you can really do this is to just really breathe taking time going out to nature breathing and just being one The whole world around you. I had to take a moment to meditate there because I realised that my heart chakra was awfully blocked off. So yeah, it's really important to make sure that you are taking time out, even when you do feel stressed, to actually breathe properly. Doing this will help to clear your heart out from any and all blockages.
chanting Jam. 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 Helps to remove blockages within your heart chakra. Wearing the color green. Saying the affirmations. I am loved. I am loving. I am sharing. I am willing to share. I am giving myself freely. I am open to sharing, to giving and receiving. I am open to loving other people. I am one with the universe. All helps to remove blockages within your heart chakra. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Namaste. Goodbye. One love. I hope that you really found this video informative and enjoyable please let me know down below if this resonated with you and please don't forget to like subscribe and comment goodbye one love